Hi guys, I'm Sean Garrett, and tonight you'll be going to bed with me. So I'm a licensed esthetician. I've been an esthetician for about five years now, and I also create skincare content and really try to educate people of color on how to properly care for their skin and how to treat inflammatory conditions like acne or hyperpigmentation. So tonight, my routine is gonna be all about treating texture and hyperpigmentation, two things that I struggle with the most. So usually, I'll go in with like a double cleanse. I'll usually go with my Polish Choice. This is the Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. And I do love this, but I'm not gonna do a double cleanse tonight because I've been inside all day and I'm just wearing a little bit of sunscreen and my Versed uh, Mood Lighting Glow Drops. I love these. So these are basically just like little skin illuminators and they really just help give your skin an extra glow just kind of that glisten you can add them to your moisturizer you can add them to your makeup primer and then just layer your sunscreen over it and it'll just kind of give you a glow throughout the day but since i'm not going to double cleanse tonight i'm just going to go in with my dr dennis gross my alpha beta pore perfecting cleansing gel i'm not super picky with cleansers i just like them to be um, gentle, non-stripping. This one has mandelic and lactic acid, and I think a tiny bit of salicylic acid, but it's super gentle, keeps my pores clear, keeps my complexion bright, um, and it's a really good one. Especially my acne clients, they love this cleanser. So first I'm just gonna add some water and wet my face. A little pump. You always want to make sure that you're massaging and cleansing your face for at least 30 to 60 seconds because you really want to make sure you're breaking down any excess oil, impurities, any makeup. You really want to make sure that you're kind of breaking those things down and they're not sitting in your skin. Before I kind of do any of my serums, I like to use a toner. Today I'm using the Tricaris Botanic Rose Toner. This is a black owned brand. It's newly launched and it's just a hydrating toner in mist form. Like it's a beautiful formula. It's affordable. Literally it's 100% pure and organic Greek rose water and it's double distilled. I guess that makes it special. <laughs> I like spray toners because I like to mist my face in between my steps because I apply all of my skincare onto damp skin. When you apply your skincare onto damp skin, it just helps absorb and penetrate and you have less of um, an issue of kind of dehydration or your skin kind of doing that kind of um, trans epidermal water loss. So after I mist my face, I'm gonna go in with my Make Beauty Essence. This is the Micro Ferment Rice Essence. This is a new product to me and I've been obsessed with this. So I like to just do a little layer of this and just massage it into my skin. And I bring all of my skincare down my neck and down my chest, which is why I have this little tank so I can really get all the areas of my skin. My kind of um, tip to kind of get what I call like doll skin, which is just like healthy, radiant, glowing skin, is just layering hydration. So I'll do like a hydrating toner, then a hydrating serum, and then like a really nourishing cream to kind of seal everything in. And as you can see, my skin is pretty glowy already. Since my skin is still damp from the essence, I'm gonna go straight in with my Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And this is the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum from PCA Skin. I love PCA. They're a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but it's super worth it. And I like this hydrating serum because it has ceramides, it has niacinamide, so it's really nourishing. It helps strengthen the skin barrier, which is like your protective layer of your skin. It just makes my skin super plump. I love this serum. <laughs> Tonight, like I said, it's all about hyperpigmentation. So I'm gonna go in with my um, first hyperpigmentation treatment, which is the Skin Medica 2.0 Latira um, Pigment Correcting Serum. When I look for like my serums and my treatments, I really try to 
make sure that they're of good quality because those are the things that kind of matter the most to me. Like my serums are super important. And so I wanna make sure that they're potent. They have an incredible formula. And this one, it just like, it works so quick. I've seen the first like two weeks, I saw like a dramatic difference in kind of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is basically just hyperpigmentation that's been caused by some kind of trauma to the skin. So if you have like a breakout and you pick the breakout, or if you like use a product that was too, too astringent or too strong or cleanse it as too stripping, sometimes that'll cause trauma to the skin. And also dehydration can also lead to hyperpigmentation. And so you always wanna make sure that if you do have a breakout, you don't wanna pick, and you wanna be using ingredients that really target hyperpigmentation. So after that, <laughs> I'm gonna go in um, with my next treatment. So that will be my Polish Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. Anyone who follows me on social media knows that I'm obsessed with this product. So azelaic acid is a little different from like your AHAs or your BHAs. It's antibacterial, it helps treat acne, it's really great with hyperpigmentation, and it's really good for texture, which I've, which really what made me kind of gravitate towards it, of how well it just smoothed the texture in my skin. This formula from Polish Choice, it has salicylic acid and some other like hydrating and skin benefiting ingredients. As you can see, it's like super silky. So it just meshes into the skin. And all of this is still on damp skin. And I really like to focus this on my beard area because that's kind of where I struggle with texture the most. Usually try to do like a spot treatment like around this area and this area to really kind of smooth that texture and even any hyperpigmentation. So next I'm gonna go in with my um, eye cream. Now I was always someone who like felt like eye cream just wasn't necessary. And I do feel like a lot of people still can just use their traditional moisturizer and kind of dab it under the eye and bring like your hydrating serums kind of to the orbital bone. But I, now that I'm kind of moving into my 30s, which is like terrifying, <laughs> um, now I'm like, I need all the eye cream. So like I'm an eye cream fanatic. My skin is more combo dry and sometimes it can be a little dehydrated especially around my eye area and so i love eye creams for morning and night now my new favorite eye cream is from sunday riley and this is the auto correct brightening and depuffing contouring eye cream long name it's not super heavy which i really love you literally just need like the tiniest bit like i literally take that amount and then just kind of Pat it under my eye and just kind of massage it in. And I use my ring fingers. It's like the old kind of tradition. You know, your ring finger is like your most gentle finger. And I like to bring that all around my eye area. And so before we go in with our last two steps, I'm gonna go back in with my Tracaris Botanical Rose Toner. So it's gonna do a mist. So the night cream that I'm gonna go in with tonight is the Versed Recovery Mode Advanced Night Cream. So I love the Recovery Mode Moisturizer. It has like this gorgeous, like purple color. It's like, it's so beautiful. But also because it's a rich cream, but it's super lightweight, it's not heavy. And I'm someone who likes to add oils into my moisturizers. And so I don't want something that's super, super rich. I kind of like that balance in between. And so I'm gonna mix a, a few drops of my Supernal Cosmic Glow Oil. Another favorite, this is like my second bottle of this, but it's an amazing nourishing oil. It doesn't have any essential oils, any fragrance, and it's a beautiful oil. So I'll mix like, I would say like two or three drops in there. And I kind of just mix it in the palm of my hand like this. And then I kind of just swipe it on the areas of my face. And I kind of do this with like my treatments. I do it with my sunscreen, really because I just like to target those areas. And again, like it just, oh, it just makes your skin like so juicy and healthy and 
beautiful and radiant. I did deal with a little bit of acne, kind of, I kind of had adult acne. My skin was pretty much clear throughout my whole childhood. And when I turned 21, I had a crazy breakout. I had a lot of little kind of congestion, which were like close comedones and just like white heads and these really like hard kind of breakouts that were really hard to get. And I was able to kind of fix my skin through research, which kind of led to my obsession with skincare. And I will say uh, the key things um, to helping my skin have been exfoliation, hydration, sunscreen, and retinol. Those are kind of like the four things that have really, really helped me. But like tomorrow, I'll probably do another retinol night. And those have been the things that really have helped my skin. But you don't want to overdo those things. So if you're using um, retinol every night, exfoliating every night, and you're not using hydrating serums and barrier repair products, those will destroy your skin. It'll dehydrate your skin. And it'll kind of do the opposite of what you're trying to do. And you don't want to exfoliate every day. I would say two times a week is pretty like a good number for anyone to kind of have some exfoliants in their routine. So now that we finished all of our hydration, our treatments, I'm going to always finish my routine with a hydrating lip balm. This is a new one by Polish Choice. It's the Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Lip Booster. I'm obsessed with this. It has a little metal tip. But it like makes your lips so like glossy and juicy and nourished and just kind of like matches the skin. It's a it's a vibe. So guys, that's my entire nighttime skincare routine. Thank you for going through this whole little skincare journey with me. Thank you for spending the night with me and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.